Hi guys, in this video, I'll explain database bulk insert components which we are using inside Talent. So we'll go through the function, the need, usage, and configuration of all of these components. So we have three components. As you can see in the picture, one is database output bulk execute component, and then a normal bulk execute component, and then one for writing into flat files which is db output bulk component the agenda for this video includes explanation and usage of all of these three components and then i'll explain why we use why we need sql order utility for bulk insert and then we'll go through the configuration settings of each of these components inside talent so the first component is database output bulk component. This is used to write data in a file, in a flat file based on database standards. And as the name indicates, this is used for writing bulk data. When you have really large amounts of data, then it's preferable to use this component and not to use the normal file output components. This is optimized for bulk insert. So it's preferable that when you are using database uh, bulk execute components, so use this component for writing data into the file. The next component is database bulk execute component. So this component is used to read the data from the file and insert data in bulk inside the database. It inserts, appends, replaces, or truncates data in the database. And it brings performance gains in data insertion. As I said previously, that it's a bulk execute component. So it's used for when you have data which is in millions. Based on my experiences, I've noted that for 1 million records, these components are generally taking 20 to 25 seconds. On the other hand, if you're using the normal database output components, so they will use, they will take around 5 to 8 minutes for 1 million records. So you can compare 5 minutes versus 20 seconds. So it's way faster than the normal database output components. The next component is T database output bulk execute component. So this is a combination of the previous two components that I've explained. This is recommended if you do not want to perform any transformations before writing data in the file. What is SQL loader? SQL loader is a software utility which is used to load bulk data from other data sources like flat files into the database. And it's important to understand that SQL loader should be installed on the same machine where you want to run the integration job. For most of the cases, you will be running your integration job on the server, so you should have this utility installed on the server but for testing purposes when you're using your own local machine that then you have to you have to install this utility on your local machine you can either download a thin database client on your machine uh, because these days these thin clients are also coming with this utility free built in or you can install a database full client on your machine and then you'll find this and even you can simply choose to download and install SQL loader to, to perform these bulk insert operations. Now let's have a look on the configuration of all of these three components. So let's take database bulk execute component in the first place. So this component if you double click, you can see the configuration settings of this component. 
you need to specify the address of the file from where you're going to read the data and then you'll load it inside the database and in order to prepare the, in order to prepare the file you can go to this component t database output bulk component and this component simply receives data from the previous component and you should have a schema of the previous component and then you can write it inside the file in the advanced settings you can specify field separator text employer or maybe other file delimited delimited file parsing properties once you have the file prepared then you can use this component to insert data you have to specify the file from where you have to read the database from where you have to read the data and you have to specify the connection of the target database the target table in which you want in which you want to write the data and then operation action on the data will be insert if you go in the advanced settings you can see there are a lot of things that we need to configure before executing this component if you also have dates inside the file then you can select this option use schemas date pattern to load date field and inside the schema you have the list of all fields which you are going to read from the file then you can go to date and basically you can specify the date pattern here and if you're not sure what date pattern your dates are following then you can you can use control space to see the list of all possible values you can have for this pattern and then you can specify the field terminator if you are using text and closure on your fields then you have to specify here and most important is you need to configure the load options load parameters you have to configure if you you can simply add any parameter by adding by clicking on this plus symbol and then you can have a list of all of these variables i would say most important of all of these variables are bind size read size and rows read size tells us the size of the read buffer in bytes so if you want to read more data then your read buffer should be big enough and bind size it's the bind array it's a location in ram where sql loader is storing the data before it moves the data inside the database and read size and bind size both are basically related to one another in my case i have provided the size 100 mb you can see the size in bytes here and rows means number of rows to insert in the database after which you want to make a commit in my case i have i've said 50000 records and then put a commit so if you're using if you are having a small number on rows it means you are performing the commit operation quite often and since it's an expensive operation so it's not recommended it's better to have a big number for this rows parameter once you have this configured then you can simply execute the program and you'll have the data in the database and then don't forget to commit same goes for database database output bulk execute component you need to specify the database connection details file and advanced properties thank you so much guys for watching the video please give it a big thumbs up if you have liked the video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel i'll see you guys in the next video